Hi, my name is Ali Shersavar from Breacher Digital and in this video we're going to talk about how slowing down or speeding up your FET in a power supply is going to impact your EMC and your EMI noise signature. So in one of our previous videos we talked about uh, adding a gate resistor to our MOSFET and, and the reason for that was if you slow down your FET then the uh, noise signature will get uh, better uh, at the expense of switching losses. In this video we're going to go a little bit into more detail and see how it actually really changes and then we are going to go to the lab and see it on a spectrum analyzer in real life. Now if you imagine your power supply typically the input current will do with something like this. I've got a trapezoidal wave. This is your T on, that's your on period. This is your T off, that's your off period. And then you've got a very fast rise here. This is your TR, your rise time. And then of course, very fast four period here. And that is your T off. For simplicity, uh, of teaching just let's assume TR and T off are more or less the same magnitude. Now you can see that if let's say for a FET this is around 30 nanoseconds DI DT here would be absolutely huge so even if you're going from 0 amps to 1 amps if you're doing it in 30 nanoseconds it's very very fast and we know that very fast edges have got big harmonic contents so if you take this and do a complete FFT on it it will look something like this, a typical envelope for a trapezoidal wave. It looks something like this. So assuming that this duty is not very low, you start with your fundamental. That's, a frequent, that's your frequency, that's your amplitude. And then your harmonics starts going down naturally. For this waveform actually at a rate of 20 dB per decade up to a certain point. After this point, we're going to call this second break. They're going to fall at a rate of 40 dB per decade, so much, much faster. Okay, uh, this point happened to occur at 1 over pi TR around. And you can see that if you slow down your rise time, this is your TR, this point is going to move that way. Now, as we said, this is going down at a rate of 20 dB per decade, and this one is going down at a rate of 40 dB per decade. So after this point, it's going to go down at a rate of 40 dB per decade. It follows, therefore, that if I slow this thing down, this is going to shift that way and it's going to fall down faster. The point is, if you're trying to pass the EMT test, what we normally try to do is take our fundamental, which is the, the highest uh, component, the biggest component, and push that down with our filter. Now, if we push that down with the filter, naturally the rest of them will go down as well. So if you manage to pass the first one, Typically, we hope to pass the rest of them. And of course, if I push this, this second break further up, then the natural decay becomes so much faster, like so. And of course, it will disappear on the spectrum analyzer, and therefore, I will pass my EMC better. So uh, we are now going to go to the lab, and we're going to show this in real life. So here we are in the lab. What I have here is a flyback converter and its load. It's being powered through the listen and I have also a EMC current clamp which I'm going to put on the cables. Um, this, the, the connection is not quite ideal but I've got my ground plane here and there is no chassis for the power supply. Uh, this is the kind of setup that uh, we have uh, in our uh, workshops. Um, however, in the workshop, we actually also put another PCB in order to emulate the chassis so that we have got a very close setup to the uh, pre-compliance test that we have to do. So if I place this current clamp around my cables, and I connect it to the spectrum analyzer, 
I will see the noise spectrum, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Just a, just a point to note, I've, I've also put a scope probe on in order to um, show how the noise changes as I speed up and slow down the gate. But when you do that, it may change the noise spectrum. So when you're doing a real measurement in, uh, for your pre-compliance, you have to make sure that nothing else is connected to, to, your, to your test setup. Um, I have got several gate resistors on this board, uh, especially designed for teaching that I can change very quickly. So I can change the speed of the, the, the FET in terms of turning it on and turning it off. So um, if we look at the spectrum, noise spectrum now, this is what is coming out of the current clamp. Here on the oscilloscope, you can see the gate drive and you can see that it's extremely fast to a point whereby you've got this spike. And that is because the gate drive resistor is set to zero ohms. Uh, and uh, this is the noise spectrum of this extremely fast way of driving our MOSFET. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a max hold. That gives me the maximum envelope, right? And then I'm going to view it. There we go. So that is the envelope of our noise um, with a zero ohm resistor. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to replace that zero ohm with 100 ohms and uh, we'll see how the amount of noise that we have changes. So there we go. That is the, the pink trace is now my noise and I'm just going to remove the zero ohm and, resist, and, and replace it with 100 ohm. So that is zero ohm, 100 ohm. You can see it has completely fallen down and this has slowed quite a lot. So again, one more time have zero ohms and 100 ohms. So let me max hold this as well. You can see the two, two traces. And of course you can see here that it, this is painfully slow. You cannot switch this slow because your switching losses gets very, very high. Um, and uh, in one of our previous videos, we uh, recommended a quick way of calculating what is a good value for the gate resistor. So I'm going to now put something more reasonable than 100 ohms. This is going to be 7.5 ohms. So let me get another trace going. So I'm going to go to trace, uh, trace C. I'm going to clear right. So now I am going to go to 7.5 ohms instead of 100. There you go. You can see now that we've got a very nice gate drive signal without that huge peak. It is not too fast and it's not too slow. And you can also see that the noise has uh, fallen down for you know, a good 10 dB lower than what it was. And that would be a good value to be using uh, for your gate drive. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. There is a, a PDF of this presentation with a lot more detail in the description below. And I uh, hope to see you in one of our workshops.